Every time I click on the start, I start streaming, but I keep forgetting or realizing I forget to restart the modem. But it hasn't really had an effect or negative effect yet, so hopefully we get that uh, trick up. Uh, where's my Steam? There's my Steam. There's my Blood Stain. Blood Stain goes boop. I need to slightly, slightly move the window. <clears throat> uh, why was it? There we go. There we go. I find the right sound volume. Maybe there is no right volume. Alright. I never know what to call these. Well, so far we're 6 and 0 oh on the, uh, well, since we started tracking what now we can actually beat these on a regular basis, so they will actually actually that's fine, not a bad or a bad way to track this. I was mentioning like the previous record when we start. Customize anywhere on change. Dupe, dupe, and dupe. Alright. So random, shuffle, all evil, anywhere, shuffle. Alright. That should be good. Uh, there's no timer for me to work on, so let us just begin. <clears throat> Here we go. Start with a useless item. If you attack one in the air, so you can still, so you can still move that way. I always forget that the wait. I thought this was the. It's not. I, think I really need to play this more so I can actually remember the the ship layout. I the affected much more. Just never really like properly useful. Mainly just because of how like kind of just decent is actually it's kind of a worse worse quality. So I'm not sure if I'm explaining that right. I 
Slice Slicers. Which will be good for some extra damage at least. Oh, I thought I had the, uh, totally disabled. Oh, probably uh, bef before the my hard drive crashed. I need to reset that. Kind of tempted to tr try to use the tornado slicer more than the sword. That'd actually be probably a faster attacking weapon. Attack the hard DPS too. Does more damage. Order made scarf. I'm not sure if that's actually a decent scarf or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> no shards, which is unfortunate. Here. What else we got? Moon belt. That'd be kind of nice. Chicken saute. Miso ramen. Okay, we got actually, actually got some decent stuff in there. Nothing useful there. What are we transmuting this time? Alright. Oh, Robert Valar is an ingredient, that's unfortunate. So, nothing in accessories yet. Oh, yeah, here's, here's the accessories. 
Uh, to do so, no Jeebus glasses. Got some potentially useful things here, but I'm not gonna really get any of them. Okay, Robert Villar is like the universal ingredient, apparently. Ooh, Pleiades. Although, we're not gonna be able to get that from the looks of it. Uh, not even really worth looking at the weapons, honestly. Plenty of stuff. Yeah. Can't repair anything. Yeah, we can't craft any shards to begin with. So, we dismantle into a Jubal's glasses. Figure that out, or can we figure that out early? Ooh. Okay, all we need is six. Honestly, I would trade the, the fairy scarf for the Robo Vuar in an instant. That's the only one thing that we can get that from, but yeah. We need six Alcahest. If it's available for purchase, I'll probably get those over the food. What would you like to buy? Uh, no Alcahest from the looks of it. Yeah, no easy Alcahest. There's some easy strawberries and lemons, though. What would you like to buy? Mm. Here we get the drink uh, recipes. We can make some good use of that. What would you like to sell? Um, so we got. Get through all the puzzles, Mascus. There we go. What would you like to buy? We got plenty of money. HP, some stats, luck, 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 mind, and mind. Alright. That's some decent luck, this at least. That's not bad. They're literally just a one hit point difference between them living and dying. I suppose maybe, <clears throat> maybe the uh, secondary attack didn't hit. Look at that hit. That was nice. Red shard or axe strike. Which is a pretty, pretty strong shard. It's also very expensive. Things like 130 MP for a single use, something like that. You get diamonds. Okay, we can sell those. which is kind of useless at this point. Yeah. Like these are for selling stuff. First passive is crap. when you try to... Oh, come on. I'm trying to press the up button. This is like a medical condition. Hey, game, I'm trying to get the, the items up there. Please. There we go. And wasn't quite worth it. <clears throat> I think MP up is only by like 5, maybe 10 points. Which, while kind of useful, isn't all that uh, effective. It's like a perfect pause time. Okay, I think it's gonna be a pain trying to get through these guys. One of the bats have anything useful. What is the hitbox on the low aim grip? Seems like it sucks. Which is one of the reasons why I don't use great swords. Purple shard. Bone Toss. Another Purple Shard. Lethargy. Neither of which are particularly winners. <clears throat> Ooh, Alexandrite. That's pretty decent. Hey, the uh, bats have the vanilla item drop, it seems. Yeah. 
I went more for the shard opportunities rather than just the actual damage. Oh, we can probably take care of those guys as far as uh, shard farming, actually. They were pretty easy to shard for it. Or we can just do this right, right away. Dagger expertise. I mean, some daggers are kind of nice early on. There's really no good, like, end game daggers. Ooh, that actually worked. Ooh, shuriken. That's actually kind of worth farming on them if we can get enough uh, MP regen. Especially if we can also buff the shuriken as well with some, some ranks. We get more, more shurikens per MP usage, which means a lot more damage. <clears throat> yeah, if I have the MP to support it, the shuriken is usually my kind of go-to for red shards. gives intelligence, is that right? Yeah, to intelligence. Which, when your best method of attack is spells, is that kind of a decent thing? Oh. Oh, you bastard. Hey, I have a fire sword too. Mine's stronger. My fire sword can be your fire sword, or beat up your fire sword. Yeah, come on. That's just out of range, okay. Do that. Oh no, you don't. Oh my god, game. This is why this weapon sucks. Hey, Waystones. Ooh, that, means, that means I can unlock uh, this guy right here. So I'll have one as a backup. 
Yeah, it seems you're pretty good for at least one free level up. Be nice. Passive or daggers. Okay, that was useless. Okay, Gunpowder will be nice if we happen to find uh, summon Hellhound. In fact, that's already all we need to be able to get the first three levels of it. Oh, I was figuring what else we need to upgrade it, though. I should probably get that memorized at some point. It tends to be relevant. I just use the tornado slicer on these guys. Nope, doesn't kill him. It does more damage, but not enough. Um, so why does that doesn't do more damage to those guys? Because it's both a sword and fire. But it might just not be high enough level or enough strength yet. I can kind of see that. On good shard. That's probably not a good shard. Yeah, that's a crappy shard. Oh god. That's since you insist. And since this path's already open, let's go ahead and get the item over here. I was slightly confused as how we got or something got so much MP at once. Then I'm like, oh yeah, curse ended. Which I do like how they, they kind of fix curse, or at least give, give your health and magic back when it ended. Otherwise, it was just that you instantly lost half your MP and HP on getting it once. You'd have to actually wait for it to come back normally otherwise. I'm glad they fixed that. I did not mean to press that. We do have a couple of good items we can get from the, the quest turn in. Let's go ahead and get those now. Oh, damn it, I never got the one at the entrance. Or the... Yeah, at the town. Damn it. I'm going to try to find another waste on that. I don't want to use the one I have currently if I don't have to. Eh, not the worst familiar to get. It's even kind of adorable. Seven seed in a row that we can actually beat. At this point, I'm pseudo convinced they made like a stealth update to make sure the randomized seeds were actually beatable when I was in the past couple months. 
or a few months, I should say, because we haven't been doing this necessarily every week. Yeah, I confused him. Caravos. No, it might, might not be a bad idea just to equip that one as a sort of safety, because I do get to another point like I did before, I just kept getting bodied and almost stunlocked. So I can get maybe some automatic... Ooh, Silver Bromide. I guess we'll have access to that area at least. Hopefully we can get out of that area. This is going to be kind of the main thing. So we learned recently that you, we can softlock out of that. Actually, no. I think technically, by that standard, we couldn't finish the seed last time. But I'm not going to hold that against the, the randomizer. Because that was basically my uh, stupidity and not realizing I couldn't get out of there. So technically, we'll, we'll call it 6, 0, and 1. In terms of uh, beatable seeds. Decent uh, dagger from the, that guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the right guy then. Let's make sure that was the Blood Grinder Knight. Stinger. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's the... Wait, let's make sure. Do I have any other weapons? I do not. Okay, never mind. That was not the one I thought it was, which makes me sad. The weapon I was thinking was a much better weapon. Kind of relatively short range, but it's a much faster attack and animation, and it does pretty decent damage still. You know what, now is probably going to be a good time to get back to the town. Because I can just take the teleporter back to this area and do it on that way. And then we'll have the, the city teleporter for future use. Plus I can start to buying and selling some stuff. in games, I haven't seen much of it. Actually, with Inver, we can get the elements up here. Yay. Oh, I thought I could reach. 
reach that guy. But apparently not. Alright, we're gonna we'll just get the silver on our way back out. Because then we won't point going in there just to come back right back out anyway. Here's what's gonna saute. Miso ramen. I, okay, we have a better weapon now. Here's Broth, fornius and garlic. Here's what I've... Flambeche. Here's what I've turned up so, fornius and garlic was the wolf man. Okay. Actually, let's check the shop first. If we can buy any like, decent materials. Oh yeah, we can do this too. Never ready to meet Alucard. Oh, what would you like to sell? Uh, do, do, do. Is it Crimson Knight. Should do it for everything that's what worthy of selling. Like uh, to do so, nothing useful there. Yeah, no waystones to buy, unfortunately. Nothing particularly useful here. Buy potatoes. Actually, we can buy some seeds. We can make this game into Harvest Moon for a short time period. Uh, nothing there that we can immediately get. Uh, I don't suppose we can get the, any Rava weapons now. Doesn't look like it. Ammo. Hip Circle Traveler's Hat. Um, Shinobi Guard would be, actually that'd be very nice. Go with that. Gauge Glasses. Ooh, Solomon's Ring. I am so getting that. Yeah, Solomon's Ring gives you an increased, uh, slightly increased likelihood of actually being able to pick up uh, shards from monsters. Which is so freaking amazing. I uh, will swap to that. I mean, it's only 10% boost, but honestly, any boost is a good boost. What are we transmuting this time? So we can't prepare anything still. Still can't craft anything. Upbeat, he's a shard, but we don't really need that. No new. Accessories. Uh, we can enhance shards that don't really matter. Okay. You know, we got plenty of emeralds, why not? Okay, can we dismantle anything useful? Or anything into, like, a Jeebus glasses? 50 claymores, good lord. Oh, we can get Solomon's ring that way. Get ribbon that way. There's an outpest. Uh, do do do. Blar. Okay, nothing cheaper for Robin Blar. Okay, nothing else noteworthy yet. Oh, yeah, I gotta go up and equip now. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. We could technically go up in the higher levels, but... I don't know, even... Well, actually, with Shinobi's Guard, we have, like, a billion defense. It might still take a while to kill things, though. We don't have the... that much attack. I think I'm just kind of... picking it. Ow. Okay, being able to jump after certain actions is a weird mechanic, and I'm pretty, sh pretty certain it's not intended. We should not be able to jump after getting knocked into a wall from inside the wall, which th there was a lot of weird mechanics going on there. I will not pretend to understand. Oh, you actually survived. Good on you. Ur and Runus. Ru That's actually not a bad shard. Uh, it's. Actually, it's more expensive overall because it's actually it consumes the entire MP cost at once. Whereas with the, the tornado slicer, it's a per second thing, so we can technically have each casting only be like five mana. And so we'll progress this way. <clears throat> Teleporter here. Take a look up the updates on how uh, the sequel to this game is coming along. I know the sequel is in production. Scrumptious. 
Oh, well, the, the experience gave me out from that. Red shard and flail. Nope. Not worth it. Unfortunately, not useful in this instance. Uh, I think we go this way. Yeah, we do go this way. I don't normally get the opportunity to do this, so I'm not really sure which way I need to go sometimes. some uh, gear here, I think. Yeah. Oh. I should say items, not necessarily gear. Yeah, we can get stuff. Friggerach. Oh, 
Okay, put them out there. Might be more relevant. I'll give him my Rabo Valar. Those are like the most common substance on the earth right now. Blue shard. Aw. Why is it always Sacred Shade that we get first? It's not even just the fact that we never get uh, Accelerator, it's that we, never, we always get Sacred Shade as the first blue shard. I don't get it. I don't want to equip anything else for my accessories right now. Even with the speed gain that would give us. Nice, 3 for 1. Oh, those guys do still spawn. I guess just the one source or source running is enough to summon them. Like the, those um, the bug like things come out when you uh, basically get a bloody enemy kill. Which is there you can only get from the Wolfman. Game. Game, be nice. I guess you're probably just gonna up on top of the wall. I think there is still an item here that I'm kind of missing right now. I don't want to miss it if I don't have to, especially if it ends up being the uh, thing at Pseudo. That would suck. The odds are still there. Okay. You could have missed it. Oh, I actually made the jump. Nice. I was legit not expecting that. Uh, you can die. I will farm you guys. You guys are always easy to quick farm off of. Some decent uh, cell bowls out of it too. Come on. Give to me your loot. Or maybe even a violin. Some kind of stringed instrument. Okay, do they have a shard? And they do have a shark. Okay. There's a shark. And it's useless. Alright. That is unfortunate. Here. I'll take this guy out first, just in case he has a, anything useful. Got a shard right away, which is useless. Okay. I'll get the teleporter, even though we probably don't need it. Ooh, oh. uh, why does that have to be on him, though? That'd be a slow game of Alcatest. Hopefully we find the uh, the two Alcas on a different, easier to farm enemy. I would like to get the Rabo Galar as much as I can. Money. 
their shard. Okay. We'll go with that. You know, knowing that these two enemies are here with they and Tim I kind of want to just farm these guys for a bit. And make the shard all it can be. And see if I maybe get to like rank 5 in the shard when they drop. Oh, there's some roof bangs. Actually, see how much damage increase we actually get out of the shard level up. Use that to make a determination. Because I should have basically about the best chance I typically get to get shards. So there's gonna be 83 before. That doesn't count as crit. Yeah, 5 damage per thing. That's decent. We'll get the two more levels. From this way, actually, because it was a safe here, and we can quickly regain magic. Maybe okay, just one more of this raid. Okay, now we'll do one more. That's how increasing intelligence is the only way you can increase the damage on any attack shards. And at 5 damage points per pop, it's a decent enough rate. In my book. Come on. We're probably going to be using this against the, uh, the double dragon boss too. Probably most of the bosses, honestly. Except the few enemies that are strong against light attacks, like the uh, one right by the Alucard room. Not sure what that one's called. I know they basically all have weird names. There we go. Go ahead and get a full save for good measure. Just need the option to get another level up. Nope. Okay. But, oh yeah, brute fangs. <clears throat> Ooh, got some good damage. Too weak to light. Actually, you're part of a quest too. I just want to get that quest taken care of. Ectoplasm. Alright. And get this uh, ninja item here. Wasn't useful.
pretty sure he's dead at this point. Oh, keep attacking. Because why not? useful for some shard that we do like to use, but I'm not sure which one. Actually, well, I should just get that one first. I don't need to come back to this room after this. Because of invert. Tornado Slicer. Well, actually, Ruinous Root might be better at this point. That'll do more damage per tick than that just was aimed well. This way, but let's go ahead and get this open. Sword. Uh, you know what? It's better than I am, I think. Oh, yeah, it's better than Valkyrie Sword. Uh, let's go get some books, as well as our picture. Actually, let's get the teleporter first. Because, as we learned, it's very easy to figure teleporters. Okay. Yeah, we still need luck. Luck we still need to find uh, dimension shifts. I think invert does work to get both chests. It basically has to be up in this animation for a few seconds. Yep. 
Ish and Partisan. Okay. Neither of which are tremendously useful.
Hope we get some early axe outsider kills. Oh god. I thought it was a little We still got three. If I had like double jump, I'd actually go for the Titania here too. But since I don't, it'd be a pain in the ass trying to get to her. So any of these crit that we can yeah, we can just go with three shots. Oh, okay. I gotta have something. Chart? Purple? Blind dagger. Damn it. Purple? Where you going? Alright, not getting much to work with here. Uh, let's actually keep exploring this way. I think there's an item room in here. Oh no, let's just connect to a different pathway. Never mind, this room sucks.
Empress's Ring, which is not nearly as useful. It does give luck, but not as much as the like Empress Ring. I think it's like five and kind of so what the hell happened there? Another familiar. Silver Knight. I think Silver Knight is the best familiar as far as combat goes. I think his appearance does also upgrade as he levels up too, which is always kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. Oh, I got revert. Yeah, we can get a quick chest in here. This was an arch demon kill for reasons. Actually, two items in here. useless, but at least we got it. And a Pation. I don't need any more of those. White shark. Let's go ahead and just save. So I actually kind of want to try the 8-bit area, so since we do have Jibble's Blast, it'll make killing everything there infinitely easier. I think the item room is in here. Yeah, I'm in here. It's kind of nice. Yeah, 
nothing was up there to the spawns. Anything down here? Nope. Oh, well, I can spawn the guy early. Yeah, he'd be spawning regardless. From you. Not yet. Now, the frame in particular is why I kind of want to have the caribou sound. Actually, I think it will do. Yeah, let's bring this back out. There we go. More Aqua Stream. Oh god, a lot of zombies. Here we got the skeleton guys. This fire. Now all we need is the zombies, and we can get all the sharks here. Technically, these guys spawn infinitely. We just keep fighting until they eventually go to what we want. I'm liking the quantity of these guys spawning. That's very nice. Unless these guys don't have a shard, which might suck. Let's confirm. Zombie. They do have a shark. Okay. It's not a complete waste of our time. There we go. Uh, that's actually not a bad shard. Let's see if it's actually effective on the boss. That's not the greatest attack rate. Uh, yeah, I'll put that back to Tis Roseanne. I just realized this fight's gonna suck without the uh, double jump. We gotta figure out how to make this work without, you know, dying. Okay, so far so decent. Oh, that's a little sneaky little thing to try and cheese. Yeah, I think I just need to tank the damage at this point. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. This might not end well. I demand a refund. So, 
come up here. Or I go from the floor. Loot gun. Ah, we don't need that. What? Or shelf over there. And now this will be useful. Uh, okay, so where do we go from here? There's a lot of places we can go. Get this activated. Uh, let's see if we can do anything special with crafting. Have you learned anything? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Yeah, the, the, the only... Well, I suppose I got a bunch of the Game Boy Castlevania randos too, which I haven't really played any of those. I never really, really was into the, the Game Boy ones. But yeah, th this is definitely a good one. It, it, at least when the seat is beatable, it's a good one. Which is unfortunately not always the case. Well, we've had a pretty good run lately, which is kind of still surprising to me. Uh, what else can we do? Yeah, let's see what we can do in the shop. What are we transmuting this time? Uh, we can... Heavy cream. I guess that's a thing. Alright. We can craft a swordfish. Uh, so nothing useful for shards. Uh, we can enhance shuriken. Okay, I'm glad we got the dreadful rags now. I'll go with this. Yeah, I played the game where Castlevania just casually like once, and that's been basically been about it. Good games, I just couldn't really get like into them in the long run. Although that was also long before I realized what, what a randomizer even was, so maybe I should take a look at doing one of those again. I can't see what it's like, but I would have to relearn the base game too. Uh, can we get anything useful out of this? Hmm. Oh, this is up to seven. What else do we need for that one at this point? Oh, we just need more emeralds, okay. Okay, so we can eventually actually get some passive elemental stuff. That's some terrible upgrades. Yeah, like I said, I don't have a comprehension of like the, the base game, so I can't even really comment on what that'd be like. Yeah, cause, like, the other Castlevania rando I do is uh, Symphony of the Night, which can be interesting at times, especially with the randomized weapon stats and the like. Uh, Ornamate Scarf is actually kind of useless. Uh, we can we'd probably sell these. Do I even need money for anything at this point? It's kind of the big question. Uh, so the armors I don't need. Doing business. I didn't have any of those equipped, did I? No, I had the Valkyrie Quail equipped. Is this right? there you are. We're good on that. Um, uh, what was it? There's all right, this stuff. I might just spend all this money just to get like a whole bunch of uh, food at this point. Just since we spend most around the, the 8 bit boss. Yeah, I've kind of looked at that, it just, it doesn't quite seem, I don't really know how to phrase it, it just doesn't, doesn't really speak, like, like, the other options that it does, I just haven't really been all that interested in personally. Oh, like? I don't really know how to explain it otherwise. Because the thing is, like, the actual base rules of the, the randomizer itself, I, I am more than fine with. It's just the way the logic is, and, and the, the, that mod, I believe, makes a bunch, a bunch of other changes as well that I don't. Well, I think one of them also. I think one of them also is like a separate program you basically can make seeds with, and I don't really know how that works. That's kind of another thing that's preventing me from checking that out. But to be fair, I should give it a try at least at some point, just so I can actually give it a proper comparison. Oh, uh, so purchase. You like to buy? I think these all kind of suck as far as ceiling goes, but I get a bunch of these. Is this all right, so where to go next? Still got to drop the frames. Okay, not that many frames. And see, I guess that's part of it too. Is I've never had to run a mod using a pack file like that, so I don't really know what that entails, and I don't want to 
like accidentally break my game somehow. Which with my luck, I would break it within like an instant. Which granted, I could just re-download the game and fix it that way, but still. One of the things I'm just kind of like slightly paranoid about. Especially after having my hard drive die on me like a couple months ago. I'm, just, I'm not interested in, in risking anything close to that happening again. <clears throat> we, no, we can't. I was wondering if we could do like the invert to get inside of that chest there, but I realized no, that's a stupid idea. So there's two chests here. That's no. It was the right spot, but also wasn't the right kind of chest. Yeah, I'll probably have to take another look at that mod again at some point and try, actually try to give it a try. I just have to actually work up the will to do so. I think there's something in here. No, there isn't. There's the one up above that item. Or just that. No, there's some item down here, apparently. Right here. There it is. So I suppose one question I do have as far as the logic for like the modded version of the randomizer goes. Does it still give the possibility of being able to like soft lock in certain areas? Like for example, if you happen to get, because it is possible to get to a place like the the desert area and not have any kind of movement abilities, and so if you don't have any waystones, you get soft lock easily. Or in a couple other areas, as I've recently found out, have they have they been able to kind of fix that in any way? Like, do they make it slight if you do like the chaos item randomizer? There's still always a waystone in the shop. So that, that would be a kind of like a small bot I'd be more than willing to download. It just for the sake of some safety. Oh, flame. Isn't I'm inside this bell? Right. Yep. Oh, bullets. Bullets of crap. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I think probably one of my benchmarks for when I actually do finally try like the modern version of the randomizer is when I finally get another seat that's actually not beatable. Because I've had a surprisingly good streak of seats that have been beatable lately. I kinda wanna see how far I can take that. Yeah, I remember for a while there there'd be like like four or five seats worth I'd go through that I would not be able to complete. And then, for whatever reason, like, the last six seats we've done have all actually been beatable. I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was, like, some kind of shadow update that the developers did. Which I would highly approve of in this case. But yeah, I, I kind of want to see how far I can take it. Just, just to see. Oh my god, there. Invisible Blade. Or Alkahest. Yeah, we'd still be nice to get a Rob of Alar. Say that much, at least. The money in there. Petra Breath. Well, I know they did try to patch, but patch it in some way with one of their updates, I think back in like June of 2020, something like that. I still have no idea what the actual details of that fix were supposed to be. Did they ever post the details on that? I don't remember seeing any. Oh, that still makes her bleed. 
Hopefully that's actually not as useful for the regeneration phase as I thought it was. Yeah, for me, I, that's kind of one of the things I'm not a big fan of, is just the idea of being able to just, like, buy your progression. I still want to be able to, like, find it through exploring. Otherwise, it just feels kind of cheap. Even if the cost is literally not cheap. Like, I like how uh, Bloodless didn't know what to do there for a second. Oh god, I forgot about that attack. Such riveting gameplay. useless. I think there's still a chest in here. Yeah. But it's not a useful one. Oh, let's open up the, the path here. I don't think we're gonna use it, but at least let's keep it open. But yeah, I, I think probably like the, the only really small changes that we make would be just, you know, make the items be within somewhere, some kind of logic so they're not locking themselves out. And then be able to have like the waystones always be a viable item regardless of the item shuffle. I think those would probably be the only real main, like, game modifications I would make to the randomizer. So everything else is pretty much fine, generally. Well, actually, I would kind of like to see, a, like, a shop uh, price randomizer as well. I want to be able to, like, find a Valkyrie mail in the shop for, like, 500 gold. And then find, like, a, a long sword for, like, 200,000. Just gonna be funny. Alright, where is she? Oh, there's a nice chest over here, too. Yeah, that's kind of another thing I would like to, yeah. So how many different pack files are there in that particular mod? I don't remember what the actual count of that was. That's a decent bit. Alright, so... What's the next best place to go to? We can do some underwater stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get over this way. Actually, I don't think we have the ore dogs uh, shard yet. I'm not sure which. Okay, I don't know. Barbers. Okay. Okay, we don't need that one. Okay, so I suppose in that case, is do you actually like make a new folder within the game files, and that's where you put the pack files? Is that how that works? I'll say, like, as far as being able to use my computer and, like, the, the, I, I can't think the right word, but basically, like, the actual knowledge behind how everything works, I know just enough to be dangerous to my computer. That's basically about it. Dude, where are the shards? But you have a familiar, which I already knew. What oh, is there? Oh. I was not aware of this. Oh, apparently I got a shard of some kind. Uh, I think it would have been from the gargoyle. Is there where that came from? Uh, gargoyle. So an insect, yeah, no. So it's mainly the ore dog we're looking for now. What was your familiar again? Oh, hammerhead, yeah, we don't need those. We just need ore dog. Okay, 
Wait, stop giving me the familiar. Give me the ore dog. Unless your dog doesn't have one. Maybe that's what the thing is. Okay, ore dog does not have a shark. That explains everything. I really didn't need to grab that, but oh well. Uh, do, 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 do. So let's head. Let's start doing some of the underwater stuff. I think there's gonna be more items and more branching paths we can go down that way rather than the, uh, the secret sorcery lab. Come on. 
please. So no point trying to get through there, because we know we need uh, a bunch of ships to get through that gate. Actually, I'm amazed that the uh, inner work there. Oh, would you believe that? It's literally zero up he costs. So. In that case, it is definitely more amazing. Because that's mathematically accurate. Well, Light, well, Light Blast is actually also a pretty good shard, because you can use it to unlock a lot of enemies, including bosses. Although, if you don't have Jeebus Glasses, it does use up a lot of mana pretty quickly. So that's kind of one of my, like, favorite situational ones. More Waystones. The game will not let us be softlocked. Even though we're already not softlockable. Yeah, I'm assuming Void Ray is like another like 40 mana per second spell, something like that. Basically the same thing that, uh... Actually, isn't Tis Rosane like a 50 MP per second? I forget the exact numbers. Well, for Tis Rosane at least. Okay, Tis Rosane is 40. But yeah, for me, I never really actually focus very much on like... Uh, trying to build strength or intelligence or anything like that. I found it usually... The stats don't impact your damage all that much overall. Unless you get like a massive increase at one point from like a special item or a bunch of food. The only thing I really focus on stat-wise throughout the game is just luck. Because you know, you kind of need that to be able to get the shards to beat the game. I never really use that shard very much. I don't really know what that would be about. I think I have that. Uh, it's under Conjure? Yeah, throw spear. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's kind of one of the things I do like about the summon Hellhound in the randomizer, that it's so easy to find gunpowder like everywhere, that as soon as you find it, you can instantly upgrade to level 4. Yeah, it's too bad the requirements for the, the shuriken won't warn us plentiful. Because the shuriken is probably my favorite Conjure shard in the game. Just because of the damage you can do and how much you can actually do with it and just everything about it. So close to being progression, but it just never is. I just kind of feel bad for that shark because it, it feels like it should be useful, but it's not. The shark. Ah. Yeah, you can kind of do that with like a lot of the shards in the game. You know how to use them, right? That's even before considering Jubal's glasses. Oh god. god. I hate the section where you don't have Aegis Player and the actual like proper water movement. Also hitboxes get walkie sometimes. On Thrill Spear. Yeah, Thrill Spear is still a little on the price side MP wise, but. But yeah, definitely early on, I can definitely see you being like a super good attack spell. Actually, actually, definitely, I did like Bone Toss early on. That's actually a pretty useful shard, too, especially how, how well you can actually aim the thing. 
I don't think that takes too much to be able to upgrade either, if I remember right. Sacred Shade. and then come back this way since we can kind of loop around going westward. Come on. I hate, I hate this particular spot because it takes so long to do that. Uh, I know we're going here first. Especially because that, that Rocky is like, this is the only place you can find him. And so there's not really a, a super efficient spot you can just go in and out to farm. Especially when you're lacking a, the uh, accelerator. That one, the terrible decides to attack and trigger early. It also doesn't help. Oh, there's a chart. If it goes, no. Damn it. 
go. I don't know why I go in here. There's never, literally nothing in here to get. But I always go in here and kill that guy. I guess it's kind of tradition at this point. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the bats to drop, like, Accelerator within, like, the first minute of the game. Or actually, even, like, the, the... The... The little tentacle guys at the very start. If those guys would drop Accelerator, I'd be, like, farming them for all level 9 right away. I granted, the grades only increase the level, to, or the damage, it doesn't increase the speed or anything, but I would still farm at the max. Just because it's that amazing. Oh, yeah, I got the one out now. I can actually go fast. Oh, I hate that attack. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, come on. You cheat. Cheaters never prosper. I shove shurikens up your ass. Blue shark. Okay, you know what? That's actually perfect. Because we don't need to level it up, we just need to be able to get its rank increased. I went the wrong direction. Yeah, now we're good. Wait, we haven't gotten this this way yet. Uh, there's nothing on this side, right? Oh, there's nothing. Wondrous Ring, E. Okay, can't quite get up there, it's just double jump. Flame Scarf. Critical Ring. Oh, I guess I'm not finding out what he has. Witcher. Oh, right, he has double jump. Uh, yeah, I want to keep going down. I'm not sure where the next teleporter is in this direction. So I would like to get back and see if I can actually upgrade Accelerator or all. I think the shop does sell at least one of the ingredients you need to upgrade it. Uh, which one? Uh, Accelerator. It is by far the best shard in the game. Okay, one last chance to try to get his shard. Before we accept our sadness. We are sad. Shuriken. Yeah. Okay, items are useless. The 
blue shard. Oh, we don't need blue shards anymore. That craft work is kind of nice. Although, if, we, if it turns out that we actually need it, then we're probably not going to be able to beat the seed. But there's probably no way of going back to Leaper X Pocket unless I absolutely have to, which, given how much of the map I can explore, I'm not going to really have to. Although, the lack of Dimension Shift and Zangatsudo so far is very concerning. Come on, give me a shard. I believe in you. You can do the thing. I mean, level ups are nice, but they're not what I want. Sort of basically constantly from from the first minutes. So it always ends up being like it's either like one of the first swords you get in the game, or it's like one of the latest weapons you get in the game. It doesn't seem like it's really much of a balance in that regard. Except I've had several seeds where literally the very first chest I open is is the Zangatsudo. I tend to worry more about dimension shift just because it gives access to so many more areas and makes things more easier. But as I get pseudo, it, it gives you access to see the boss properly, and that's basically it. Blue shard. Wait, I already. Damn, I already knew what he had. I kept farming him anyway. Because I'm apparently dumb. Oh my god, why are you not dead? Please be dead. Thank you. you have already? Okay, now I do. I don't know what you have yet, I know that much. Oh my god. Uh, that's not really the best place to farm you, so I'll wait for that for later. Save. 
Fear shard now. Oh, summon hell out. Which I like how it's the monster immediately adjacent to a hellhound. That actually gives me that shard. Actually, I can just use it now. Not a lot of actual area of effect yet, but I definitely use it to kill things. on my burb and I shall return momentarily. Thank you. 
Resume the stuff. 
Including killing off fire elementals with a fire elemental spell in one casting. In case you didn't believe the spells are already overpowered. I don't know if I had no his shard yet. Degron. Up and luck. Not a bad shard. Uh, we might kind of need that. Okay. Didn't hurt too much. Ow. Okay, that kind of hurt a bit. Uh, where, where'd you go? There you are. Oh my god, you are not allowed to live. How are you alive? We can't get over here unless we have Dimension Shift, right? Yeah. We can't cheese our way into there. I already know you're a shark, so I'm not too worried about taking you out. You nice will do. So you, I definitely need to get your shard. You I can actually farm fairly reasonably. I already know your shard. Yeah, I farmed you earlier. Versus ring. Yeah, I think that's kind of one of my favorite things about this game in particular is that for all the uh, monsters around, all the shards you can get, there's almost no bad farm spots for any monster in the game. Like for example, if you get the other right spells and abilities and stuff, literally you, you can make anything to a quick farming spot. Like for the Moss ma Shoes, if you have someone Hellhound, just do this. You can get like one drop every second and a half or so. Notwithstanding any level ups. Yeah, the only one, one that sucks is the zombie dragon in the desert. It just, it just takes so long to spawn. Then he's also kind of beefy. Turn, please. Yeah, nothing here. Oh god. Please. Oh that oh god, I'm actually hurting. Okay, I don't get why someone alone just chooses not to work sometimes. Literally, it doesn't work. Here's uh, Tokatsu Bra. Her parents. Here's killer, strawberry crepe. Here's what I've tapped. Bronze. Here's what Fell leaf. Here's what I've tapped. Okay, yeah. Nothing valuable there. Uh, upgrades. What are we transmuting this time? Shard, double job, no, no. Uh, I'm going luck, but no. Okay. <laughs> Get a passive thunder boost. Passive fire boost. Hey, 
know what, just because we're here. I think Mithra is all you need for all the levels on this one. Or not. What else do I need for poison? Oh, I need Panacea. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we don't need Aqua Stream. I kind of want Tizzer's Lane to at least increase the area of effect. I can almost max it out. But like, last, we can buff that up a little bit again if we decide to stun a lot of things. Uh, yeah, we already have the resist fire max, we can spend the rubies. Uh, nothing else. Metamorphosis. We need flight feathers. I think those are available in the shop. Oh, now we need rubies, damn it. Okay, so Flight Feather and Ruby. Are either of those here? Oh, what would you like to buy? Oh, that makes me sad. Neither of them are, 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 are available. Um, well, let's, let's find the corn. So we can officially make this into a Stardew Valley run. Oh, too far. Uh, is there anything from the start that we are missing out on shard-wise? The Dulla Hammer and Giant Rats. Okay. Rat get. Just gotta get the Dulla Hammer and we'll get the rest of the items while over here. I'm talking that much more critical damage. Oh, the blue shard. Which we don't need any more blue shards. So we're good. I mean, I guess it's possible that he could have Accelerator. No, he has Dance Still. Which isn't a bad spell, but it can hard lock the game. I do not want the game to be hard locked. That, that is bad. Zan. Where was. Okay, Flame Cannon. Okay. There we go. Shortcut into here. For some reason, I, I want to play like as if I have high jump, but I don't. It makes me sad. Thank you, Tudor. Nope. Let's been scarf. Nope, not there. We can. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's head back here. We'll continue to explore in this direction. Flight Feather is dropped by... Uh, Ossie Pete, who also drops 
Monster Bird Tears, and G Bone Steaks. Monster Bird Tear, G Bone Steaks. Monster Bird Hair. Monster Bird Tear. Oh, so macaron. Macaron. Uh, where is he on here? Where's macaron? I can't remember where any of the monsters are on the thing here. Lemon, monster bird, tear, lemon tomato. Okay, so it's not that one. Alright. So, yeah, unfortunately, we don't know where to find any flight feathers. We just plain cannot improve the, uh,. Accelerator. Come on. Okay, do the Scyllas have anything? Scyllas do have something. I think I already have the Glashens chart, but just in case. White chart. Okay! That's almost appropriate. Now we can explore. No bummy. Well, we still can't get through there. Oh no, we can. We've looked right. Yes. As long as I've had a reflector ray, I forget what it even does. I am almost not joking. Come on. More waystones. Teleporter over this way. I found a crap ton of bats. They have directed shield, right? I don't know if we know the Fornius yet. Probably not. We don't have a lot of chance with them. Seeker doesn't have anything. Just instant murder. Because that's how we roll. Ring at HP. 
Reflector Ray for, but it's not going to help us that much right now. It's just a save room. I did not mean to do that. Alright, yeah, Blood Steel. Get all the chests from here. I just find out a bad place. Okay, never mind. We have the Forneas. Oh, one more because we already know it. Alright. So we need to be a little careful. Just a little. We got the starting gear. Then we got Deep Sinker. We already got the item here, right? Yeah, we got the item here. Not bad. There. So that should be everything in there. Uh, where else can we go? We can head up that way, but there's really too many items up there. We're probably just better off heading for a teleporter. At the point we have to go down for that. Also, we can actually get that chest down there. I don't think we saw what. Well, we probably did see what type of chest it was since it is on the map. I don't remember what it was. For double jump. Not worried about the poison yet. Sacred Shade. Uh, 
the simians have yet. And I'm not really sure what the best place to farm them is. We don't know what the Siren has either. We know the Ork Dog doesn't have anything. Okay. This will be a quick a place to farm both of them. There we go. Okay, we got that one. Bashia is not useful. We just gotta find out what the, the Wraith Lady has. I can stop letting myself get hit. Oh my god. Okay, you don't have anything useful. You have some Insidia. You make me sad. I don't, know if, I don't think we know what the, uh, the bowl thing has yet. Go ahead and save. Zagan. What does Zagan have? Do we know what Zagan has? Zagan? Hi, the Highly Zagan? A little bit Zagan. I think I'm just being blind. Okay, we don't know what he has yet, so we do want to farm. Okay, so that is enough. Super farm. I know you have a shard. Don't be shy. I should have stopped at the Alucard store and got myself another luck book. That would have been the smarter play overall. I think I got their shard. Toxic Storm. <laughs> Not quite how I want to do that, but it works. I can't get this. I cannot go that way. Yeah. Oh, just some brute bang. Alright. I guess the lady out there won't die on him. Except for the assassins. Yeah, nothing else. Eddie, 
Oh my god, why? Why are you like this? I remember this. see it. Ugly. So we need to farm the puppy. I don't know, Malediction. Not many of those. Actually, we got a bunch of the stuff up there we can farm too. Seed, that's what it was called. So Red Remembrance. Okay, we have Bomber Morte. So I guess just the puppy and the mimic. So the only ones we need to farm. shard, which is useless. Now I just need the puppy. Oh, I think we had it. Uh, puppy. No, we didn't. Never mind. Okay, now we have it, and it's useless. Um... Okay, let's check back at the library. Get us some better luck books. Dr. Alucard. I'm taking the speed. Here. Wait, we don't have access to the greater luck? Huh. Okay, I guess, guess we'll just go faster. You certainly uh, yeah, this, so there's still some stuff in here we can get now. Okay, that works. Yeah, I don't know what the Dantalians have yet. There's one thing we need to get figured out. 
if I can figure out how to fight. There we go. Okay, now we found out. Is this magic? It's definitely not a bad shard. Just doesn't really help right now. I already have that one. Okay, so here we can actually take the uh, maybe a craft work. Yeah, right here. Okay, that's gonna make things slightly complicated. Uh, okay. Need to start from. Damn it. Accelerator back on. Alright, oh, that's not gonna be a useful shard. I just forget that's a shard and not actually an item. Oh, we never went this way. I think this is where we can do the uh, quick farm of the mimic. Which, wait, did we just find what the mimic had? Or did I skip that? Okay, we know what the mimic has. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else we can really get from up here, honestly. Oh no. Seriously. There. So we know what's in there. We know nothing's up there. We got the dragon. I think we got the lance armor, right? Where's lance armor? Shovel armor. Lure armor. Uh where's lance armor? Lance armor, okay, we know what he has. We know what the dragon has. I think that's just another shard up there, too, so that's not really gonna help us. But we'll check anyway. There we go. Yeah, just another shard. Not even a good one. Own you. Uh, okay, so what else here? There's the light elemental, but that's going to be more somewhere else. Okay, so we need light elemental. Or dog doesn't have anything. Okay, so carriage morte, we can do a good bit of uh, stuff on. Yeah, we're actually running out of a lot of places to be, which is concerning. Bullet. So in that case, so double check. So no ore dog. Yavin, scythe might. Okay, we can do carriage morte. Remember? I think I remember the route to get to him. Yeah, I think he's actually right down this hallway. Yeah, he's right here, right there. Gotta farm this. These guys. Venomist. Right color, wrong shard. Uh, so Wolfman, Light Elemental. I think we're closer to the Wolf Elemental right now. Actually, actually, no, yeah. Yeah, closer to the Wolfman. Okay, do any of these not have a shard? That should be the first thing I check. That's my, okay. The Ore Dog doesn't have a shard, but everybody else that I've yet to document does have a shard. Alright. Wolfman. I wonder if it's possible to craft or dismantle when an age is played at this point. So I might be the only way I can get to the uh, Oriental Sorcery Lab. Which would be the only other place we can really access. That's the, actually the, the other good uh, damage one. Where is, where is it? Altai out. There we go. A favorite. Yeah, because each time you cast is actually a, a separate instance of damage with no cooldown. So like that. Uh, where else can we go? That's 
Just a silver chest. The silver chest over there, we already opened that previously, so that's not gonna be it. Uh, let's see, let's head back toward a teleporter. and that item. Nope. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh. Actually, let's give it a Tiz Roseanne, because that does generally do more damage, plus it also has a much wider hitbox, more range in general. So I missed this from before, just in case the sun is full. Nope, never mind. I know the Simeon doesn't have anything. Rai, I think we already figured out. We got Light Elemental, which is going to be further to the east. Scythe Might. Oh, we could have gotten the Scythe Might where we're at the other thing earlier. I think we have the Oxypeed, right? Or Oxypeed. Uh, it'd be further down here, I think. Yeah, we have Oxypeed. So just need light elemental. The light elemental is gonna be up here-ish. I see this would be the perfect enemy to have Void Ray with. But unfortunately we don't have Void Ray. Okay, that does still kinda works though. But you have your claws, which is useless. He has flamethrower, which is useless. Uh, yeah, let's head back to the teleporter. It's gonna be faster. chest we've missed at this point. So we need to get scythe mites, we need to go down. Get down to here. And we head up. Oh god. That should should not have hit me. Okay. Gotta get Scythe ready. This time we have to do it, we have to use our sword because we need to get the blood on the walls. Scythe Mite to come out. Ow. Out there. Actually, I guess that one should work too. Yeah, because that caused the blood. Now we do the slow farm. Good job, Barry. You show that boulder who's boss. Okay, that was quick at least. Alright, so that I think is all the shards we can get to, with the exception of the 8 bit boss and the. I forget what he's called, but he's one of like the, the secret enemy on the train. Neither of whom I actually want to farm. Yeah, let's check out this. Uh, 
Okay, so who dropped the... Well, we need to find out if we even have access to any of the, uh... They just played in some way. Here's... Pretty much it's up to you. You probably don't have anything I need. Butter. Dull Blade. Hair Apparent. Hair Apparent. Beast Killer. Here. I know sometimes the quest people can have stuff like Aegis Plate. I don't think I've seen them have Zen get sued, but I know they can at least have Aegis Plate. Uh... Okay, so for all the shards we can craft, none of them are helpful. I don't even know if uh, Dimension Shift can even appear in here. Nothing we can really do with that. Really not much point in trying to craft anything else. Uh, we can prepare food, apparently. <clears throat> oh, we don't really need that. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Great. Oh, they're both do the same thing. I can actually make both of them. I'll go with this. Or, and, and just because we sell the, the components for it. Did you see? Just make it even more broken. Okay, can we dismantle into Aegis Plate? Oh, yeah, that's the first time I've seen the equipment used to make a one for food. Any Aegis Plate. We can get Fly Feathers. But they're kind of pricey. Damn. Uh, do -do. I'm not seeing any Aegis Plates. Majestic. Tiara. All the stuff we have, and we cannot make any Aegis Plate. All right. So let's at least make something fun. Where is one of the Rava Valars? I'll go with this. All right, if we're gonna have a seed that we can't be, let's at least have a good weapon. So. We got all the chests in here. There's space here, but we can't actually progress through it at all. Uh, I don't think there's anything really in here we can get, but I can check. Actually, no, there are a couple uh, chests early on we can still get into. So maybe there's a chance. If we at least get to get the Zangit pseudo, we can at least you know we can progress into the uh den of behemoths. That's what I'm trying to our farm enemies there for shards. Vascus equipment. Mithril, nope. Actually, there's also one kind of in the area we can still get, I think. If I need to double check. Where is this? Oh, right. This goes toward where you would uh, use blood steel, which is nothing because no, no connecting rooms otherwise. All right, so that's useless. I think it was this way for the one item. I'm thinking of. Alright. Yeah, down here. So, one underwater check we still haven't been able to get to because we didn't have a uh, deep sinker at the time. Right down here. Oh, I guess we didn't get. Oh, yeah, that, that thing we had just gotten deep sinker. That's how we got to that. 
I guess that's not gonna be the answer. Um, what else? Greetings, sir. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good, although I think we finally found another blood saint seed that we actually cannot complete. We're, we're lacking some, some important shards, we're lacking Aegis Plate, and we're lacking Zangatsudo. I think we actually might have another dead seed after all this time. Because that's just a connector, that's just a save point. That, I think, was a. I think that was actually a teleporter. I never actually got it. That's a teleporter. Oh yeah, this is the stuff I need to check over here. We need to head a whole crap ton to the right. We got, I think, two more chests we can check. Zangatsudo or Aegis Blade. So far, so no. Uh, I think this is a dead seed. I don't think there's anywhere else I can check that I haven't already checked. I, I thought there was another item on the left side here, but apparently I was wrong from before. I've already got that one. Just a replenishable chest. Nothing in there. We got here. We got in here. We got here. We got in here. Um, is there anything else I'm missing? We went through all this. some hidden boss rooms available. It's possible that one of them actually is like Dimension Shift. I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. Now, one of the bosses that we have the key for that we, we can't get to yet, that's kind of a good thing, that's one that's like the hardest of them all and is basically just unfair. Yeah, I think all the other ones we have access to. Oh, so, just to make get that off the map. Head all the way this way. Oh, I wish I had high jump. I think we have the key for this one. We do not have the key for that one, okay. I know we have the Millionaire's Key. We can go to that one. And plus, we are in a better situation to be able to actually fight the 8-bit boss as well. That's on the movement that we got. We can check him as well. I mean, unless I picked up the Zangatsudo and just didn't realize it, that's also technically possible. Swords, Valkyrie Sword, I am more flying edge. Nope. It's not a case of that.
Got no shard. I don't have anything that can really increase my damage, I don't think. Well. So we, do, we still have Solomon's Ring, which actually does give a good bit of luck, I didn't realize that. Um, that already gives luck. Actually, I wonder how well the, uh... Oh god, that is horrible. Bummer of Valar sucks against this boss. Today I learned. have a shard. So it is unfortunately still worth trying to fight him. This fight sucks just because of the fact he has so many high frames throughout the entire fight. There's really nothing you can do about it. Still no shard. Uh, I guess this this one is still technically a faster boss to farm than the 8-bit boss. But let's keep it up, I guess. Okay, we get the good damage spell. But it's not actually what we want. Yeah, I think at this point we try to go for the the boss shard here. If this isn't it, I think then we just have to call it a dead siege. Because I cannot think of anything else I haven't gotten yet. That's almost smooth. You 
You have a shard. You do have a shard. Okay. Mm. I think one thing that actually would probably help for this randomizer it would be if the if it came with a spoiler log of some kind. So you know, like if, if it gets to a certain point, you can check to see if it was even beatable or where the item was. Like maybe if you had the time and you were to farm it, if it was quick, maybe then you'd still be able to try to finish the seed. But yeah, without that as an option, yeah. I mean, maybe that's one thing that the the mod version of this has that the base version doesn't. That actually might that might make it all, or might alone make it worth looking into. Yeah. Yeah, that's easier to dodge with high jump rather than double jump. I don't really know why, it just is. Yeah, we got more than enough food. And the problem is, even if this does end up being like Zangit Pseudo, that would still mean we have to fight everything in Den of Behemoths trying to find the... Well, Den of Behemoths and the Ice Caverns trying to find the Dimension Shift. And if, even if, or, and even if we find Dimension Shift, we still need to find Zangit Pseudo, which would involve having to check, like, two more full areas. So, I, even if we find Progression Era, I'm, this is gonna be kind of basically the end point for the night, because I do have to get kind of ready for bed. If I can at least get some level of sleep for tomorrow. Especially with my work being the way it is. I mean, okay, technically, there's still one more monster we could farm. However, it takes three minutes of watching a cutscene to, to make him spawn each time. We are not doing that. This no one is already at the point where I should be getting ready for bed. So I'm just gonna do a save just for the sake of it. And I'm going to call it the night. And so, I will be back on Thursday with some uh, Link to the Past speedruns, and since I'm actually off of work on Friday, I might be able to do a slightly longer shoot so I can maybe, theoretically, finish more than one run. I mean, it's probably not, because the way, the way my luck's going to be going with that lately, but yeah. So, Link to the Past uh, speedruns on Thursday. Then, probably do a regular Steam Library Tour on Friday, but... It, actually, no, Friday is Christmas Eve, so I'm not doing stuff with my parents until the day of, so yeah. Actually, not sure what time I'll be streaming on Friday now that I think about it, because it's going to be kind of an open day, but anyway. So, for sure, it's going to be 6 p.m. Thursday night. I think it's fast speed runs. And, yeah, until then, have a good night.